Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Power Bros. Now today we're going to be doing a video all about spacers. Now these, like I said when I fitted the wheels and I did the suspension, I'm going to want to put some spacers on. Now I've already done it this side to make it easier for us to do all the comparisons and to show you why I've done it and we'll go through some tech spec as well. So before we get stuck into it, let's jump into the intro. Okay, so you wanna fit some wheel spacers. There's a few things to take into consideration first. Now there's a couple of types of spacers, the main one being these ones, which are hub centric, which basically means the wheel has a spigot to sit on. So there's, there's two main types of spacers. One has this hub centric part. So this part is exactly the same size as the hub, meaning hub centric, so it goes onto it and it will sit perfectly. It won't flap about and all that. And then this spigot bit here, will then allow your wheel to locate, which means your wheel won't wobble about. And then when you do your bolts up, you're unlikely to get that high speed wobble. Now, the other type of spacers, usually these have perfectly sized bolt holes. The other ones have more of like an oval slot to allow them to fit multi-platforms. And the center is quite a lot bigger, again, to allow it to fit multi-platforms. So they're the two kinds of spacers. I would always recommend the hub-centric ones. They're not massively expensive. Um, you can buy them from anything uh, from about 40 pounds a pair with bolts upwards. Um, if you can get some second hand, then great. These ones I've had laying about for a while. Now, the other thing to consider is wheel bolts. Now, we had this debate again when I fitted these wheels, is to make sure you have the right ones. So with a Audi, they need to be um, radius, which means they have like a rounded edge here. Um, the other ones are tapered, which are more diagonal and usually aftermarket wheels. So recommend get yourself a vernier gauge, measure or a tape measure or a ruler or whatever, and measure the length of your wheel bolt because basically when you buy say this is a 15 mil spacer to go on the front when you buy a 15 mil spacer you want the wheel bolts to be 15 mil longer at least so then you have 15 mil of extra thread which you're taking away when you fit the spacer so the existing wheel bolts are 47 millimeters um, and the thread is how much is the thread of that i think the threads about 27 um, so you want to be able to get 15 mil more. Now these are actually 16 mil longer, um, but again, perfect. And then I've also got some for the rear, I've got some 20 mil spacers with 20 mil longer bolts. Um, you can get lockers in these. I have, um, just make sure you get a decent type one that look, doesn't look like it's made out of chocolate and the key won't break the first time you use it. Um, you torque your wheels to the same spec every time. Um, and there's not much else to do. The only thing I would say is do not paint these. Do not paint either side of the faces because if the paint gets hot, it can then sort of swell and cause these to come loose. Nice clean mating surfaces, a little bit of copper slip or non-metallic grease on the bolts if you want, and talk them up to the usual spec, which on these I think is 120-ish. Um, what are we doing? So right, let me um, mount you and you can have a look at what I'm looking at. Okay, so that's the side profile with spacers. So quite a nice, almost flush fit. Then we'll go around to the standard side, which has quite a gap, as you can see. The front also. And I was a little bit worried because obviously with these, I don't know how far back I can get. I don't know whether you'll see it, but see they're nice flush fit. And there's a bit of a gap. So my concern with this was, because it's quite low and the tires are quite big, I thought it might catch, but if you are considering aftermarket wheels, I mean, stock wheels should always fit no matter how low you get, because obviously if you're gonna load a four seater up with people, it should allow um, plenty of movement. You can see here, there's gonna be a gap, no problem. Um, if you're worried about wheel fitment or you wanna change your wheels to some aftermarket, we've got a whole video going through the perfect wheel fitment, the right offset, the right, um, center bore, for the right thread pan, everything. Um, I'll put that up in the top corner now for you. Go check that out. That's really in detail about wheels. Um, but yeah, so spacers wise, that is pretty much all you need to know. Um, so ideally go for hub centric. On a TT, if it's got factory fit wheels, whether it's 16s, 17s or 18s, you can run 20 on the rear, 15 on the front and it will fit absolutely dreamy. You won't have any issues with rubbing. I've done it to all my cars, the V6, the blue one, all the different types of wheels, never had a single issue. 
even when it's full of people, it's lowered, whatever, the wheels just tuck straight in, no bother. Um, aftermarket wheels, obviously, like I said, it is a bit different. Go check the wheel video out for that. Um, I tell you what, let me whip a wheel off the other side and I'll, um, I'll show you some fitting as well. Okay, so we're gonna fit a 20 mil spacer. Now, what I like to start doing is get one wheel bolt out and then you can use your, either the plastic one that's in the boot or you can buy a metal one like this and you just wanna wind it in and then this will allow you to locate the wheel in the future. Um, it just saves you dropping the wheel, damaging the inside, dam hitting the brake caliper, um, whatever. I'll take the rest of the wheel bolts out put them somewhere safe because you might need them at a later date you never know um, and then that is the wheel free uh, make sure you're safe make sure you've got a jack and a stand see there you go look allows you to take the wheel off nice put that safely out of the way and then you're left with your hub face now i have already cleaned this if it's a bit grotty around there grab yourself a, a wire brush and just give it a good clean up and then just put a little bit of slip on the inside. Um, and then take your spacer, whichever size. Now I'll show you what I mean about the hub centric. What I'll do first is just clean the inside of this because it's a bit, a bit grotty where it's been sat for a little while. I mean, these are aluminium, so they tend not to rust too bad anyway. It's more the dirt off the hub. And just give the face a little, a little clean. And then mounting wise, this will literally just pucker up nice. Um, these are, 5x100 and 5x112, so they'll also fit the later Audis. 57.1 um, centre bore, which is that if you were to get a vernier gauge and measure that. Um, you want to use the smaller of the two holes, and that will just slide on there, and it should go nice and flat. You should be able to hear it, that it's hit down, because what you don't want to do is get the wrong size and then it sit proud, and then when you fit the wheel, it'll wobble and could fall off. Um, so that's on there nice and snug. Then. It's just a case of putting your wheel back on. Like I said, it's gonna sit on that. I'll show you now. I need to clean the car. I should have cleaned it before, but I've got to make videos. It's always hard to keep on top of everything. So the wheel should just sit on there and it should, and then it will hold because you've got the spigot, which is the right size that just sits there nice. And then you've got this holding it in. Leave that in whilst you're doing the first couple of bolts. It's always recommended to put them in by hand first, even if it's just a couple of turns, because um, you don't want to cross thread them by using the gun. You can use the gun afterwards, by all means. Or if you're a professional and you've got a license to use a dugga dugga gun, then you can obviously just gun ho. Um, like I said in my last video, always leave the lockers out, and then once you're done, you're ready with a torque wrench, put your locker in, torque it in, then you know you're done. Um, so I'll just I'll set this to the lightest one just till they just touch. Last thing we want them to do is be all the way in and then we'll put our locker in. We've got our torque wrench ready and set. And I've seen loads of people saying out there, don't, you don't need to torque, they, well, they don't torque their, their lockers up, but they're made, they're designed to be torqued to the correct torque setting. So just be careful, like I said, don't use a gun on them and all that kind of good stuff. So let your car down just till the point that it's touching down and you can torque it up nice. Get yourself a kneeling mat as well. Got to save you, oh, helps if it's set. There we go. We'll start with the locker. Always do opposites. So even though that was tight, it wasn't actually that tight. And then what I like to do, once I've done all of them, is just work your way around. Double check them, that's just for personal. Make sure your locker's always on properly. There you go. And that is the job done. I mean, you can already see how much closer that sits. It's gonna fill the arch a lot nicer than before. I mean, 20 mil, that's quite a bit, it's almost an inch further out. It, yes, it's not factory. Um, it won't do much for the handling. It'll give you a slightly wider track. I mean, I mean we've gone, what, 40 mil across the rear. Um, but 
there's, there's loads of debates out there whether it will damage the bearings because obviously you're putting the load further out um, and all that kind of stuff. But I've run them for years. Everyone, loads of other people have run them for years. It's personal preference. I mean, people that put big, big dishy wheels and air it right to the ground are not too worried. <laughs> I like the car to be usable. Um, and these, I mean, I've had these spaces on track cars and all kinds of stuff. I mean, you could run wider offset wheels Wider wheels with a lower offset, that'll also naturally give you the arch filling. Um, again, in the wheel video. <laughs> but yeah, that is it with spacers. Let me know what you've got. I wanna know, have you got, do you run 15s all round? That's what I used to run. I now run 20s on the rear, 15 on the front. It just gives it that perfect fitment on these stock wheels. And I think it looks really good. Um, but let me know what you think and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.